Any last words? Uh, fuck you, you pretty ass motherfucker. <laughs> but also, <laughs> tell my son to be a real nigga like his baby. What the fuck? You, how you gonna just. <laughs> you can't. This shit is hilarious, bro. A lot of guys come on the show and say they not the baby dad, <laughs> but no one in the history of Murray has been more sure than me. That baby oh. look like you? Yes, no, like sir. Does it look like me, Murray? I don't know how. Uh, that look like you. In the you are the father. You are the father. <laughs> DJ, DJ. All righty, ladies. Follow and DJ gentlemen. Champ, bro. Welcome to the Shibuya Trials. The Shibuya Trials, trials did buddy. I just say it like that? Let me start that over. Welcome to the Shibuya Trials. Where we now you had it right the first time. One, but two new challengers coming to the round table. Both challengers are hailing from a series that is absolutely popping off right now. <laughs> and with the new ranking system we are introducing today, these niggas best bring the heat. As they come to be judged, will they make it? Or will they utterly fucking fail? Making his way to the We're stand to... right now, okay, Challenger AC. One. Coming in at around six foot two, about two hundred something pounds of straight raw muscle and pure ignorance. He has already cemented himself into the Hall of Fame of anime deadbeat dads, and he is competing <laughs> with Gojo. Yo, they, they had Gon's dad in there. I forgot about that. And I'm not joking about this. Some of these Twitter hoes need literal help. Toji Ushiguro. Yo, we all already know. Yo, yo. So look. I got. I, I definitely do got to say something on, about that, right? So they got all of these girls, right? They're just like straight up fiending over Toji, and they're like, "Oh, Toji, I want you to be my baby daddy and shit like that." And that's what he gonna be for real because he don't give a fuck about Megami to an extent. To an extent, right? He really don't give a got. He don't give a flying fuck about Megami. He was like, you know what? I gotta win this horse race. I don't give a fuck about that boy. Shout support. What's that? You know, we got all that evidence on deck, and it is now time to commence the Shibuya Trials. Well, commence. Exhibit A. Spoilers. <sighs> Toji. Spoilers. Fushi Guru. Where the hell do he I don't, even He start? don't care no, about nothing, TG. Let's go ahead and he don't care about nothing. Just shit out the way. He don't care about living. Sold his son. <laughs> yep, we ain't holding nothing back with this nigga. Bro said child support. <laughs> Out of here. I ain't paying that bullshit. <laughs> and the thing that makes it worse, he sold the little nigga to the Zenin clan. The, the worst clan. That he does not fuck with because they discriminated against It's crazy, ass. bro. Like, it's crazy. <laughs> nigga, selling your son is crazy. But nah, the first time you even see this nigga, bro, bro is out here gambling his motherfucking life away. Bro's partner come up behind him. He like, oh, Jerry, what's going on with you, boy? I see you out here gambling your They got the GTA music. Hey, nigga, you still unemployed? Man, chill, bro. You know that unemployment check be hitting like a motherfucker. And obviously, as get on that shit. shit, bro loses and his parlay just went to shit. And before this man leaves, he asks his Toji the question. That's hey, the most uh, emotion I've seen from Toji ever. Doing? Megumi, yeah. Huh? Uh, uh, Megumi. 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 Who the f***? Megumi. Y'all know who you're talking about, bro, bro. Is this nigga serious? <laughs> this motherfucker done forgot his son's name. Oh, my fucking God, bro. Holy fuck. Nigga, how the hell you forget yeah, your forget, son's bro. name? It ain't like you got like 12 motherfucking kids, nigga. You have d***. Son, and you forgot that nigga name. Dear God, Nick oh, Cannon catches strays. Call CPS probably gotta have with this nigga. Hello. Hello, this is CPS Child Protective Services. Are we speaking to Mr. Fushiguro? Uh, maybe. Yeah. Outstanding. Okay, Mr. Fushiguro. As we can see on our records, uh, it seems that um you have not paid your child support in about forty-eight months. Is everything good, Mr. Fushiguro? Uh, yeah. Son, nah, I, don't I need know more money. You talking about? Um, son, need more money to spend. Shows that you have a son on the record. Oh my God. Um, uh, Mr. Fushiguro, hello. Oh Lord. Hello. <laughs> oh fuck! I gotta take a shit. Hey, quit being a bum ass nigga. 
That's what CPS need to sound like whenever they talking to some people like that. And looking like a like, quit being a bum, bro. Lie. This man smart Come get hell. your kids. So he has to hunt down this little girl named Rico because she's a star plasma vessel, and she's got Gojo and Ghetto protecting her. And obviously, that's two special grade sorcerers. So Toji puts a bounty on her head to make a bunch of dudes come after her and make Gojo and Ghetto mm. tie her out. So Toji could basically get the jump on the ass when they MP bar low. <laughs> <'Cause> <laughs> this is not Toji's first run in with Gojo. Bro had to come prepared because back in the day, Told you wanted to go find out. Yo, this is insane, bro. The Gojo clan. So told you, you got behind Okay, so if nobody whoever has not seen JJK, I'm pretty sure you've seen it, but in it, I know you've seen Bleach. So in Bleach terms, okay? Toji has zero spiritual pressure, right? If you watch Bleach, you know what spiritual pressure is, okay? You can feel it. You feel mine. You feel mine right now through the fucking through the fucking camera. I know you can feel my spiritual pressure, right? You can you can tell it's me now. But this man had zero spiritual pressure, right? Zero. And Gojo can feel that? Not only did he feel that, he he probably knew he was walking up. Like he probably knew he he left the fucking house and he was on some he was on some he knew he was on some time and he was going to show up at the park when he's trying to walk. And now look, Toji out here mad. He got a god vendetta against a child, right? Toji has been wanting to kill this child for I'm I'm assuming Gojo was like what? Like 7, 6? He been wanting to kill Gojo since he was six. I'm trying to get the scouting report, but Gojo's a little ad turned around and he was like, "Mommy, I see you. there's a I see stalker you, behind us." Enemy spotted. And this man told you was shook. He was like, "Boy, ain't no way I should be invisible. I got active camo equipped." But even though this man <laughs> has stealth 100 and no curse energy, bro still got spot. See? So this man, bro, knew I gotta tire him out before I sneak his. Ass. And what do you know? Later on, when the mission's almost complete, Toji sneaks this nigga. Bro was like, yeah, got y'all a little pretty ass. You know the hoes gonna love this. But now nah, Ghetto <laughs> ends up throwing out one of his muff. Hoes gonna mom. love it's this. Like, Summon the ugly ass oversized Weedle. But Toji slices through this fat ass tapeworm like it was paper. And now we get to observe the first man that this man cooked. Gojo, believe it or not. Deion Sanders. Ass, got his ass. I got, I've gotten, I've never gotten Deion Sanders. That's the first time I got it. I've gotten Jake from State Farm. Stepdad live. Stepdad live. You know what? Hey, stepdad live. It's kind of crazy that you jumped in here. I ain't, I'm not trying to say what you are, you know, is, is is in your family, but I'm telling you what you just walked in on. Look at the title of this video. Toji Fushiguro, the cursed baby daddy. Your name is Stepdad Live. I don't know on what kind of fucking timing that is that you just decided to pop up in here, but hey, the universe said, click on the goddamn stream because, uh, I ain't trying to say nothing. I ain't trying to say nothing. I ain't trying to say nothing. But he he felt attacked. He felt attacked. He couldn't handle it. That's beat. I know all the hoes was on life support seeing Gojo get his ass whooped. So Gojo end up telling him, hey, bro, the bounty's off of her head, bro. But this man told you, told him, man, young blood, I took that motherfucker down because I set that Oh my god, <laughs> bro is a scammer. So Toji starts moving at buck wild speeds with this freak ass physicality because of his heavenly restriction. But this man go Yo, my face, oh, my face. And he said this man Toji flying. Look at the ragdoll physics. But this did not stop this man at all. Bro is moving like Sonic on them bouncy ass. Springs. So Gojo said to hell with this and just flattened the entire area thinking he did something. But this man summoned a bunch of nasty ass mosquitoes looking like it's summer down here in the yeah, bro. southeast and uses it. That's Florida. To That's Florida. Nigga. And this is where all the Gojo girls were on life support. He started stabbing the out of this nigga. Bro became Michael Myers. Then he went for the legs. Started filleting that nigga. Then he hits him with the hell sweep. Then stabs him in the head and slams him on the ground. Jesus. Florida man. Bro, How he survived that, bro? Out of this nigga. How the this fuck Gojo survived that? Really? I mean, they said cut his head off. Wait room, weak ass that's boy. crazy. So after Toji put this man Gojo on a poster, meanwhile, Ghetto's with Rico. And I ain't gonna... <laughs> So then it starts playing this emotional last music with her backstory playing in the background. I like want to live. Red flag. I don't want to be like, the Star Plaza vessel anymore. You, I'm so ready to go sweet, home. Oh, Let's I go. I am. Take Let's my go. Hand, shawty. <laughs> Take my hand. <laughs> they had to put the COD and the Fortnite in there just in case. You just in case you need to. Get out, man. Give me my goddamn money. This man told you one pump the shit out of this bitch. 
right in bro. front of this man ghetto. And this man this told you was like, I ain't gonna lie, my boy. I was hearing all that shit. And I just had L security, bro. L security. Ghetto got mad as hell and attacked him with another Pokemon. This one looked like a variant of Gyarados. So it ends up slamming him down into the tombs. But the attack did absolutely nothing to him. Bro has no Look, bro. And I ain't gonna lie, this next part is nasty as I get like your pride got hurt that you were supposed to be her security and she just got one tap, you know, off rip. The dude's just chilling with the with with the blick against his head and just one taps her when y'all are just having a like, casual conversation. I can understand that, right? But come on, bro. Like, the mission's over. You ain't got it. What, what, what do you got to prove? Don't fuck fight this dude. He literally just killed Gojo. You think you could take him? How many how many how many times have you come ghetto? How many how many times have you come close to killing Gojo? Tell me. How many times have you come close to killing Gojo? How many times have you come close to beating him? So you think you can fight Toji, bro? F out, bro. Come on now. Is hell. So Toji starts explaining how he be moving with no curse energy and how he be using Sneak 100 without being detected. And this man pukes a curse spirit that he keeps inside of his stomach that basically stores all of his curse tools. So basically this nigga's inventory is located in his stomach. Yeah, That's he got that Tarkov word. inventory you know in his what? stomach. If you really think about it, bro really got a video game inventory. So mm. Kato sends his big Best dragon at him again and starts shooting these beams at him, but he starts quick stepping them hoes, jumps up, slices the dragon in half, and he's got Dude this Megato Bro, insane. Because he's bamboozled, he is like, Dude how's is a measly monkey doing this right now? <laughs> The so on this Frieza. Pulls out God, Frieza's got to be the most racist the original in the beginning. Asking, <laughs> villain. Ugly but Toji's like, nah, be you ugly as shit. He slices that motherfucker up. So then Toji started slicing up Ghetto, but the X marks the spot on his ass. Probably gave him the Luffy chest scar. Oh, no. Out, they the put Luffy in it. I even nigga. forgot about it. I've seen this video so balls, long ago. And it was over. I forgot bro. about it. GG's. And look at this disrespectful shit. Bro just walked over to his body and just kicked the oh. shit out of his Oh yeah, that's disrespectful face. as fuck. You ugly as shit, nigga with them big ass ears. <laughs> Shut your trap, nigga, and never rizz up a bitch again. And you what's know with what's that crazy? Effect, bro? After he finished beating they ass, this ends up jogging his memory and he's like, oh, I do I got a son. son. Really, nigga? Yeah, bro. So later on after this, Toji delivers old girl's corpse over to the client and she ends up getting shattered out like cell shat out 18. And this nasty old ass fucking nigga like, mm, yes, yes, very good. Looks like the body's intact and the bitch is not breathing. Excellent work, young gentleman. I will be sending you a bonus. What's that shit on his head? A Hellcat, bro. So why does Hellcat Toby money even probably going to the yeah, yeah. Yeah. Going to buy the Hellcat? <laughs> but he ends up seeing this man Gojo looking like total a fear. absolute fear. Total fear. A straight booty bandit. Fuck I monster. Told bro. You think he tripping? He like hell nah. Going on? I'm I'm you running, bro. By laying you on your stomach and tune that big old red ass up and long and that push it to the squirting and oh, hell nah. squirting and forward, squirting and forward. Oh, hell this no, nigga bro. is crazy. So after this man, hell Gojo no. just finishes yapping for like five minutes about some bullshit. Out here explaining how he survived. Nigga, we get it. You're broken. Somebody for real need to get the patch notes on this nigga. Like, bro is actually <laughs> Somebody joined on that one like, part. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm about to send your crackhead ass to rehab so toji started attacking but it was futile this motherfucker done unlocked ultra instinct bro said bag your ass up nigga <laughs> red, uh, red. <laughs> with the patrick this with the patrick toji audio blasted and bro is floating what type of shrooms is he on this is a level of i'm not fighting somebody who can I fly bro toji was like i oh, hell not nah. This this nigga can fly. Oh, he started no, I'm not chain. fighting him. But bro, just look at this. Time has just slowed for bro. Bro said, we. we. Uh, <laughs> like, what are you supposed to do about this? How do you fight this? I ain't gonna lie. If I you don't. Crazy, you I run. Gave up. There is no See? point of fighting this broken ass nigga. But it was I would not have fought this man. Purple. Niggas too sexy. Yeah. Hell nah. And sadly, this man told you 
got a hole blown through him. But then Gojo come down and say, Any last words? Uh, fuck you, you pretty ass motherfucker. <laughs> but also, <laughs> tell my son to be a real nigga like his baby. What the fuck? Later. Hey, little man, how's it going? So, uh, your dad wanted me to come and uh, check up on you, man. Everything going good, bro? Dad? I have dad. a dad? Wait a minute. I have a dad? Is this nigga oh, I forgot serious? he said that. This shit. This shit. Boo -ya this shit. Boo -ya Exhibit A wrap up. <clears throat> Selling his All right. son. Dodging <clears throat> child support. Attempted murder. Trespassing. Scamming niggas. Attempted murder. Oh, there we go. Murder. Attempted murder. Oh, yeah, he had two Graphic. attempted murders. A murder Exhibit charge, B. yeah. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for our grandiose finale. Daddy's home. We now shift our focus to 12 years later on a gruesome Halloween night in the Shibuya district. 12 years later. Now, as we can see, all hell is broke loose. Niggas <sighs> is getting f***ed up. But we shift our focus over to this old lady, her grandson, and Eno, or what I like to call him, the shysty sorcerer. That's, that's my dog. The shysty sorcerer. So, you know, with her grandson are throwing hands, the old lady in the back is doing some damn witchcraft. She's basically a necromancer. So she ends up reviving Toji in her grandson's body so he could use Toji's body. Nigga, what the f***? You know, I ain't even gonna That's lie so to you. That's so weird, bro. I do not that know is JJK's fucking hella weird, bro. Like that. You what? I can already that was such JJK a bad idea. Typing on <laughs> Keyboards like boo you nigga. Yeah, that's right. Boo me nigga. Hey, all I just know is the old lady with um, nigga, la, boo, nigga, la, blah, 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 and the nigga. <laughs> that's so Anyways, funny. this man Eno tries to attack him, but Toji takes his sights, oh, he punches oh, him yeah. in the face, then grabs him by the collar and stares in his soul like, oh fake. Gangster wearing this damn shysty. Shut the low, dumbass up. Yeah, you have, imagine you be wearing a shysty, this man God. rip it off and beat your ass. Dory looking at bro like, oh, Brody, you got your ass beat and your shysty snatched? Who could have done this? But here is when this gets That's absolutely a insane. So the old lady like, oh, That's a yes. straight up violation. Excellent work, grandson. Now go down there and kill all those sorcerers for granny. But her grandson start twitching Wanna get out the way for you. And then the unthinkable happened. Bro turns around and says, What did you say, nigga? But yeah, uh, this man told he's in full control now. Bro's body is so damn strong, probably from the heavenly restriction. He basically just little bro the grandson's soul and snatched that nigga body. And then just look at this, bro. Hell no. And just standing over her like, night, night, old bitch. Oh, Lord, sweet Jesus. Yeah, you done fucked up, bro. So after told you just That's a crazy a ability, though. Citizen, Bringing on, people back Nanami, like that from the Nekumi, dead. Maki and Nabito are trying to run away from Dagon in his bikini bottom ass domain yo, yo, yo. expansion. Uh, I don't want to spoil. I don't want to spoil. I don't want to spoil. But while they're trying to get out, a hole opens and a father finally came home to bring back that milk. <laughs> so the first thing this man told you yeah, does is grabs know. Maki's weapon and starts tugging that shit like, give me that shit. He just yanks it away from her, like taking candy from a baby. And while he's walking towards Dagon, now becomes a real life. Appreciate you for sticking around, dog. Oh, sweet Jesus, it's good seeing you, Zenny. This man was just walking like a. You might have to change that photo to uh, Toji. Killing machine. Fit the name. Dagon's all ugly as. You have a great like day, bro. Forward in a mind flayer fuse. You have a great day. Started thinking. Uh, he has no curse energy. <laughs> <laughs> this is barbecue chicken. But my man was about to get cooked and served into a gourmet <laughs> food at a seafood joint. So Dagon turns pregnant chicken. and shoots out this fat ass eel. But Toji slaps it and splits the sea. Yeah, Moses. one hit, bro. Damn. Pause. He hit this man so hard, he indented his face and lifted his ass 10 toes off the ground. So the water's gone, bro. And starts honking him down on the water and beating his ass with these nunchucks. He got this buff ass octopus it's crazy. for his life. And then look at this. He ends up sending out these piranhas. And one lands on his face, but he bit that nigga. You know how raw you gotta be to bite a piranha? Oh, nah. So then he hits him in his pregnant stomach again. And he ends up trapping him and sending him underwater. And a bunch of piranhas start nibbling on him. Then this fat ass water. Yeah, he did some fucking magic, bro. And so he ain't there. But Toji chops up all the piranhas. Oh, and he tells the water he just bug, let them things ass down. And then this is where the fight just got brutal. Now they're on shore, and Toji just starts walking the bro and just starts beating the shit out of him. Just hitting him over and over again. He even wrapped up on bro and drop kicked his ass. So then he started sharpening these nunchucks, ready to take the life out of man's bro. Yo, said, how do? Down for some fried
How is Toji so strong? This dude sharpened some blunt, smooth surface objects, bro. These things are supposed to be so strong, right? And dense that they're fucking molly whopping curses, like special grade curses. And he's sitting here putting, he's applying so much pressure he can sharpen the bitch. Bro. Oh, no, bro. Oh, no. Damn, nunchucks. Ready to take oh, the life no. out of man's bro ain't, said. Ain't anybody no way, down bro. for he some ain't. fried calamari? So Dagon is a becoming pussy and tries he to dip to so he doesn't become seafood. But oh, yeah, he did try to run. Stops him and Toji Hiya! jumps up and stabs him in the head. And this is where Toji's voice actor turned back into his most famous role. <laughs> Red Lobster's new lobster and <laughs> celebration. <laughs> and now, oh, they did his ass so dirty, dude. Turned they did his ass so dirty. Calamari. It was time for uh, Fuck no, some bro. father son bonding. So Toji looks at Megumi and just throws him out the window. And poor Megumi, because God damn, bro, he could have killed him immediately. Love. Bro was looking at him like, "What's good, little But they had to, they had to throw died, it in there, a little I plot, you know? What I mean? You became a raw ass nigga. So let's test your gangster, young blood. And I know he. He had to have known that himself. was his dad too. God, he had to have known that was his dad. Ass. Look at him running at him. Bro started blocking his attacks with one hand and backhanded him, headbutting him and everything. So then Megumi summoned the Rayman Raving Rabbits and then bounced the, the f out. Yeah, bounced out, bro. Bro stepped on the ground, got a bunch of the breeze from the ground and basically made him bullets and started shooting all the rabbits out here committing animal cruelty this first dude. the octo nigga and now the rayman raving rabbits i know the peter hotline going crazy right now then told you just continued to beat the hell out of bro he basically hit him with the like my lord this giving me some bad memories. this man was I've throwing been, bro, cars and shit too bro what do you what do you do grade, when your like, dad is in there Bowie throwing cars at you at him. So trying to give you an ass whooping like you had a F on your report card, bro. Just starts like, what the f you doing? He asked, like, oh no, nah, that's my boy. So then he started remembering how he sold him, thinking that it was the best form. And the dead mama in the background, like, take care of Megumi, honey. Nah, bitch. Then Toji says, yeah, f that. <laughs> I'm not paying that f***ing child support. Adios, little nigga. Damn. Bro would rather off himself yep. than pay that child support. He could have just, that, you know, got his son back though, too. The end of our first trial, and with very valid, clear-cut evidence, Mr. Fushiguro makes this with ease. Yeah, he killed like two people. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Trial down. Yeah, he killed Daigon, right? When will it drop? I don't know, bro. Is this nigga serious? You know what, fuck it, bro. Hey, if y'all like this video, I'll drop this whole sometime next week. In the meantime, go sub to my group channel. W we video. We do cool w video. Just me, you'll love it. And until we meet again. And he hit him with the one piece, bro. He hit him with the one piece. Yo, subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet. This dude is fucking puts out heat.